International Space Station is underway. It was sent into space on a 15-year mission, but the International Space Station is now celebrating its 20th anniversary. The largest man-made object ever put into space, it is visible from most places on Earth at least once a day. And if you catch a glimpse, you're looking at something which is 400 kilometres above us, travelling at 2,800 kilometres per hour. In a certain meaning, this project has become an island of normal international relations. There are no interests, collisions, no provocations, no sanctions or countermeasures. The space station can handle a permanent crew of six. There are three on board for the big anniversary. If you're younger than 30 years of age, for almost every moment of your life, there was a human being in space on the space stations Mir and ISS. Seven billion humans live on planet Earth. Three humans live in space right now. Over the years, 18 countries have provided 230 space explorers and with seven laboratories, the ISS has been the home of important, groundbreaking scientific experiments. Because of our unique microgravity environment, the experiments we perform on ISS cannot be performed anywhere else on the planet. Already, more than 2,500 experiments have been conducted with over 3,000 investigators leading those experiments from over 100 countries. It takes the 108-metre space station just 90 minutes to circle the globe. Over the years, it has cost more than $100 billion to build and maintain. But those who help run the project insist this is an investment in the future. We want to move human presence into the solar system and we want to go to the moon and then eventually to Mars. And to do that, we need to break the tie with the home planet. So space station is close so we can get cargo back and forth fairly easily. One of the most famous residents over the 20 years, Canadian astronaut Chris Hadfield, who took his guitar into space and provided a global viral moment. Ground control to major target. New supplies and experiments have arrived on the space station in recent days. The main partners, the Russians, the Americans and the European Space Agency have agreed funding through until 2024. But they're discussing adding four more years onto that, marking ISS's 30th anniversary. Alan Fisher, Al Jazeera.